Hey gang, welcome to your ninth Django tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can control the content of our site using the Django admin. Alright then, so now we know how to interact with a database using the Django ORM. We've created our model and that's mapped to a table. Now I'd like to introduce you to the Django admin area which is a really awesome feature of Django. comes fully baked with it. We don't have to do anything to set it up and it is really cool. So the admin area is an area for site admins to control the content of the website essentially or the contents of databases. We can create instances of models such as articles or something else. We can control users of our website, etc. So when we first started this project, we saw in this URLs file in the Django Naughty Cap that we had this admin URL set up, which is at forward slash admin. So that suggests to me that the admin section is going to be all right here. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I'm running my server, python manage.py run server. Once that's running, I'm going to go over to a browser and I'm going to go to forward slash admin. And it's important you put a forward slash at the end of this. And we should see this thing right here. Now it's pre populated because I've done all this before. But if I try to log in, then I'm going to get an error message because this username and password doesn't exist yet. And in fact, no username or password exists just yet. We've not created one. So how do we do that? Well, let us come to our terminal and cancel out of this. I'm going to press control C and we're going to create a super user using the manage.py file again. So it's Python manage.py and we need to say create super user and a super user is someone who's going to have access to this admin area okay they're not normal users we're going to cover those later just super users who can go into the admin section so let's run this and it says username leave blank to you sean well okay i'll leave it blank then and email address i don't need to enter that in but you can do if you want to for the password i'm going to do test one two three four it's quite funny i think you need to do at least eight characters and there needs to be a combination of letters and numbers in there i think anyway so test one, two, three, four again. All right, super user created successfully. So now let's run up this server again. So python manage.py run server. This time, if I try to go to forward slash admin and log in again with Sean, and this I hope is test one, two, three, four, but I'll just double check it. Then go to login. Now we gain access to this thing over here. So we can see groups and users. So users is all of our users, and we can see me right here sean i've just created that user and its staff status is a green tick because it is a super user if normal users were in this list as well they wouldn't have this green tick because they would not be super users and again we're going to come to normal users later on so don't worry about that too much yet so in this django admin area the whole idea is that it's a bit of a cms we can add um instances of our articles or whatever other models we have now, at the minute, our articles are not showing up here and we can't really do anything with them. So why is that? Well, it's because we've not said to Django that we want our articles model to appear in the admin area. And we do need to do that for it to appear. OK, so inside our articles app folder right here, we have this admin file. So let's open that. And what we need to do is register our model, which is going to appear in the admin section right here. So. We want to register this thing, the article. So the first thing we need to do is import it. So I'll say from, and then it's dot models, which means get the models file in the current directory. Okay. Then we're going to import article. All right. So now what I'd like to do is just delete this dude and instead say admin dot site dot register. And this is the way we're telling Django to register something on the admin site. All right. So admin.site.register. What are we going to register? Well, we're going to register the article model. So now Django knows that in the admin section, we want to see the articles. So if I refresh over here, then now we see, just like magic, the articles have appeared. That is freaking awesome. And we can control these articles. And remember when we explored the Django ORM and interacting with the database, we created two articles. They're right here. If you still see object or something like article object here, what you need to do instead 
is go to the models.py and inside this class of article make sure you have this because if you don't have that it's going to show model uh, object or article object or something like that okay so then we can click into one of these and we can edit it if we want to we can give it a different slug or a body so i can say test and save it or we can delete it if we want and now it's saying this field is required the slug so i'll just say django hyphen rules because this is our url friendly uh, field so this is what will be the url forward slash articles forward slash django rules when we come to do the detail page that is um so let's save that now okay if we want we can add a new article so i'll just say something like django nautic opening and we'll just copy in fact we won't we'll just write it again django nautic hyphen opening again this is the url friendly string and in the body we'll say something like welcome to the new website all right save that and now my friends we've also created a new article and that's now stored in our database as well how cool is that so later on when we come to showing the articles on the front end of the website we'll be retrieving these and we'll be showing them and then if we want to add a new one as an admin we can come to the admin area add an article and then when we view it in the front end again it's going to appear there okay so that's really cool so this is the django administration area really really good and dead dead simple to use